Hello, everyone. Today I have a call with a gentleman from Pakistan who has some questions about his LLC. He's been watching the channel for a long time, so he has very specific questions. And I think you'll get, uh, get a lot from the call. It moves quick. It's a quick call. So um, thanks for watching. Let's get to it. Haven't done my taxes. I'm too turned up. Haven't done my taxes. I'm too turned up. <laughs> and believe me, talking to you right now on this video call is like talking to a celebrity. Oh, I've thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope I can answer all your questions and help you out because I yeah, understand if you watch a lot of videos, you have a good grasp on what's going on. Actually, actually, have... actually, that, that, that's the main thing because uh, by watching your videos, I had a much clearer idea of how to uh, know things about LLC and then my questions are like more de refined. Exact. Yeah, that's good. So, yeah. <clears throat> so one, one, one first question is, um, if I create an LLC and I don't work for a year, so what are the obligations on me? I mean, how does it, is there any uh, rules that this cannot happen? So, so technically the, the act of paying to open an LLC is considered a reportable transaction for this form 5472. So you would have yeah. to do the tax filing technically. That's the only thing that you have to really deal with. Okay. Okay. Second is uh, uh, by forming an LLC and an account online with Mercury or First transfer, first something banks online. Transfer banks. wise, probably yeah. That's yeah, transfer wise, really, yeah. Sure. So can, can I send money to uh, Pakistan because I'm calling for Pakistan? So is it okay when I'm transferring from there? I don't know. Let me see. Transfer wise is pretty good. Trans. Let's see. Transfer wise, send money to Pakistan. Yeah. Um, I guess so. Yeah. You have what Pakistan rupees PKR? Yeah, yeah. PKR. So, yeah, $1,000 is 161,000 PKR. Yes. So, uh yeah, so you can send it through Transferwise. So, if you operate with Mercury Bank, what you would do is just send money from your Mercury account to your Transferwise account. I don't know if Mercury, not all banks can send money everywhere. They have their own restrictions. I don't think um they can it's just a guess i don't i'm guessing they probably can't but okay if, if i can have can, two, two accounts if i can have two accounts one on mercury and one on transfer wise the mercury should be the business one and transfer wise should be an individual basis can uh, I do that yeah you can do you can set up um mercury the bank account should be a business account but then the um the transfer wise account you do whatever you want you can say it's a, a if you're using it for business purposes you can keep it a business account but it's really just to facilitate transfers. If you have Mercury, then that's what you can operate with. And uh, I cannot have an individual account with my LLC on TransferWise? You can. You can have an LLC account if you want. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. It doesn't really make that transfer much of a TransferWise was saying that they don't send money from business account to Pakistan. So that's the Then, yeah. The and open a personal account then. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay, with drop shipping, what are the taxes and what forms I have to submit? Like, uh, just to clarify my question, there are many states which have different taxes. Yeah. Right? So I cannot submit it at one place or at Wyoming or Delaware or New Mexico. So I have to individually submit that taxes to different states, right? So if you're drop shipping on Shopify, um, you need to. Yeah. And on Amazon? Yeah, Amazon and eBay. Amazon and eBay. Okay. So you just need to see if there's plugins that'll do the state, the sales taxes for you. I think eBay actually does it. eBay, if you sell on eBay, you don't have to do any, any sales tax forms because okay. eBay will just charge you the sales taxes and send to the state for you. And I think uh, Amazon does that for sure. If you're doing Shopify, you might have to do some stuff yourself, but everyone else is starting to do it for you. So um, it makes it a lot easier. That means you don't really have to do anything. Okay, so the amount will be the amount I will see will be after taxes, right? So when you'll see when, because you know they have eBay fees, they'll charge taxes, but they'll charge that to the consumer. So when you're selling it to, when you're selling a hat to somebody and they want to buy the hat for ten dollars, they're going to pay ten dollars and seventy cents because they have to pay seven seven percent sales tax in, in Florida, for example. There's that will, that will be transferred to consumer already, right? Yeah. So the so it's, they should charge that on eBay. So when the consumer will pay ten dollars and seventy cents. And then mm -hmm. the 70 cents will just get sent to the state. You won't even see it. All right. All right. And uh, what are the taxes? Only 5472 form, right? Yeah. 
I mean, there's a yeah, yeah, exactly. Fifty four seventy two form for a single member, foreign owned LLC. Okay. Yes. So if if, if I uh, create a company on fifteenth of June, so what would be my first taxation date next year? Yeah, next year. So it's calendar basis. Um, it goes from basically January to December. So if you open a, a company in June, that year end is still in December. So you still have to file. That's why if you open a company in December, you still have to file in, and it's not June, it's April 15th. Okay, so I, now, now now, if I uh, form it right now, I have to submit it next year before April 15th. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, which one is better, Wyoming or Delaware? There, there, there's no better. Well, Delaware is a little bit more private. Wyoming is, uh, and Delaware can also be cheaper in the long run. But um, there, it doesn't matter. Whichever one you like the Both best. Same? They're, but the, it's really the same. It's, okay. It doesn't matter. It, you can, it doesn't matter because it's the, the federal tax principles. When they say a state has no state taxes, they mean for corporations. No states directly. I don't know, I want to say no states, but states don't directly tax an LLC. They tax corporations, but it's just that Wyoming has no, maybe it has no corporate tax. I guess if you're a Wyoming corp, maybe it does, but um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. You can do either state. Okay. So when I open an account on Amazon, they will be asking my EIN, right? That's it. Yeah. Okay. How many EIN can I have? You just get one. If I'm for your, member your managed, okay, for, for my company. And what about DBAs? If I have different DBAs, can I have more EIN? No, the D, it's just one EIN. It's just one company. A DBA is just doing, it's the same company, but you're just doing business on a different name. And what about linking my LLC with another LLC? What do you mean linking it? I mean, uh, one LLC and then different LLC with it. Is there any connection between that or I have to have separate entity every time I apply for a company? What's, what do you need different companies for? Uh, let, let's say if I want to uh, have two accounts on Amazon between you and oh, me, okay? If you wanna have two accounts. Yeah. I think they need a tax, a personal tax ID on Amazon too, right? Don't they need to know your, your ITIN on Amazon? No, uh, no, I don't think so because that's EIN. I, I, I really don't, I'm not really sure. ITIN or EIN, they both are, no, aren't the same? They're not the same. An ITIN is, is a, um, an ITIN is um, a personal tax ID and the EIN okay. is a tax ID for the company. Yeah. So, but you can open, you can, if you want to open, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I thought they did, but I got it. I still have to do that. I've been too busy to make a little couple of videos on opening an Amazon store and how to do it and everything. So, um, they haven't done it yet, but, uh, I thought you needed it, but you go through it and see if you need it. But, uh, uh, the SSN Salesforce security number is equal to uh, item, right? Correct. It's the same idea. Okay. So on both, you have to submit the taxes. If I, I live in US and I am US national, I have to submit the, those taxes on my SSN. Since that's I how am, you, that's how the ITIN and the SSN allow you to file per, uh, income taxes in the US personally. Since I am not in US, I have to file, I am also filing my taxes on EIN. So uh, will there be necessary that I have to have ITIN? Not for tax purposes. It's only necessary for administrative purposes if you need like some. Banks and credit cards might ask for it. That's all. If you need it, then let it then let us know. I have videos about it. But if you don't need it, then don't get it. So I can have an item, right? You can, sure. And it doesn't make you have to pay taxes. It just uh, allows you to do other things. And what are what is there any requirement annually that I have to renew it or something? You have to renew it every forms? every two or three years. You have to renew it, and by renewing, it's just basically applying again, and it's just filing. Uh, it's just a filing again. And no forms involved, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to file the W seven. Okay. I don't know if I've done any okay. renewals yet. I don't think I have. Okay, James. Uh, one more thing that the title of my company should be exactly according to my passport, or I can uh, like my name is Raja Muhammad Adnan Ali. There are four names in it, right? Okay. I if I apply as Raja Adnan only because they, these are my major ones. In member managed, would that be a problem? I don't. What problem with who? I mean, uh, if I then apply in EIN, will, um, will, they, will, will they say something? May I don't know. Maybe it. Uh, I usually do it exactly how the passport says it to just 
uh, alleviate any problems. I know if you do an ITIN without the full name, it won't work, but for an EIN, it might still work. Okay, and what's the procedure of uh, the going correction? Uh, basically, they, they'll deny it, and then you have to fix it, and you have to call them and fax them back. They'll send you a letter saying that something wasn't right or something didn't match, and then you have to uh, follow up with them. Do they ask for your passport or something uh, at the time you register LLC? No, they just ask for your the, the, um, the articles of organization from the state. Uh, uh, from the state. I mean, uh, can you please elaborate that? If I apply online to some agent or something to form an LLC, do they ask any requirement, required document for it? Or if I give you my <laughs> details to form an LLC, will you be requiring my passport for this initial step? We, we well, when we work with our clients, we, we get the passports because we get items for our clients. Because right. usually they need it at some point, and there's no there's no like penalty to have it, so we usually get it anyways for our clients. Uh, but without giving the ITIN, you don't need a passport for EIN, right? No, I don't think so. No, not to get EIN. No. Okay, for EIN, if I give my relative's address in New York, will is there any liability shifted to them only for address of or for mailing purpose? No, you got to just be careful if you have them open accounts for you or anything. You don't want to have an agent in the U.S. You can use their address, though, for mailing. Yeah. Yeah, on for mailing. Okay. IRS, ITIN, how many EIN? Okay. For different EINs, I have to open different LLCs, right? Yeah. You, you only get a different EIN I, yeah. for different LLCs, correct? Or, or I can put different EIN members under, managed members under my name in LLC. Different managed members? I don't understand. Different members, different members in my LLC as a partners. I can show them and then take their EINs. No, that no, that's not how it works. The an LLC gets an EIN. And if you want more EINs, you have to open another LLC. Okay. It's as simple or, as you, or you can do or you can try some people do it. I never do it. I think it's confusing. You can get an EIN for yourself as a sole proprietor. So you can say that you are need an EIN personally for yourself. It's not the same as an ITIN, but it's a different EIN that you can get for you under your own name as a sole proprietor. I'm not okay. sure how people do it. I've never really, I've never done it. I just know people do it. Okay. So this is also learning for you as well. <laughs> different well, I just don't, I just don't think it's, I think that the cost and the benefits of actually having an LLC instead of just doing, getting an EIN under your name, I think that there's more benefits to doing it that way. So I just never have found a, re a reason or a need to do it that way, to get an EIN like that. So one can have EIN without LLC? I, be I believe you can, yes. I believe you can complete the SS4. Um, let me bring it up. Just see how, it, how they were doing it. I, don't know. I know, I just know people have done it. And I'm always like, how do you do that? And then it's then because I don't, um, legal name of entity or individual for whom EIN is being requested. So you would have to put your full legal data, but yeah. Okay, so you can have EIN, then online accounts and eBay accounts, and everything can work from that, right? I guess you can do it as an individual, sure. Um, then they ask, so sole proprietor SSN. So I don't know if they, you need to have the social security number or an ITIN to get an EIN as a sole proprietor. I'm not, I don't know. But you can try it and send it in and see how it works. Okay. One last thing that you, you, you as a CPA, you are a CPA, right? Yes. Yeah. So we, we both think a lot. Think a lot. I have you here on my head. So don't, you don't. So you are the CPA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the real CPA, the sign of real CPA is he will be having no hair and he'll be cute. So yeah, <laughs> you are the one. <laughs> so just tell me one thing that uh, if I, uh, give you uh, my taxes because the but, but one time or another I'll be having company and will be needing your help to file the forms 5472 I guess yeah so how much do you charge that's 1250 before you say it, I know from your videos now tell me one thing is there a discount in it for early starters beginners something 
you got you're not going to need that if you if you get your company open now you're going to be making you know fifty sixty thousand dollars a month you're gonna what is what's twelve hundred dollars when you're well, making sixty thousand know dollars a month you, you know what i thought about it and i said okay fine twelve fifty is nothing i mean like what i what start trolling well, listen, what I'm doing is you're, you're obviously into research yourself. I created, I, I created, and I've been talking about my, my little course, my little how to do the form yourself course. It's, uh, it's with the developers being hosted. I already filmed it and already did it all together. That's going to be cheaper and we'll review it too. So that's going to be an option for um, people who want to get the form done and want it reviewed, but don't want to pay 1250 for us to do the whole thing, who want to spend some time learning how to do it and doing it themselves. So nah, that's going to be, it's, it's, be it's going to be a cheaper you option. Know, I, I might be needing it at some time that for any lawsuit or something, God forbid, if something happens. So I might, I'll be needing people like you, capable people on my side at that time. So I won't be having a discount. And thanks for your help. Just last thing, where are you, where's your location? Which state? In, in beautiful Miami, sunny Miami. You see our side? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've, I've been there a couple of times, but never to Miami. I, I've been to Cancun. But not Miami. That's my number Cancun's one priority Mexico. list. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've been to New York uh, more than four times. I've been to Pennsylvania and Washington. Then Cancun from New York. But never to Miami. And my dream is to visit Miami. Miami's my really nice. It's, re it's a nice place. It's different than New York and Cancun. It's fun. I like it. It's like pa party in the city when the heat is on all night on the beach. <laughs> that, <that's... laughs> Thank exactly. You, Thanks for your help. And hey. it was wonderful talking to you. Thanks for the call. It's fine if I post this call, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Talk to you soon. Good luck. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, that call went really well. Obviously, um, uh, Raj is pretty, uh, Raj is pretty uh, into this, and he's really excited to get started. So I hope you learned a lot from the call. If you did, please don't forget to leave me that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps with the algorithm and everything. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to schedule a call, your own call, in the link below. I'm still doing calls. So you can find the link below uh, in the description, a link to, to talk to me. So hope to talk to you soon. Again, thanks for watching and uh, best of luck to you guys. We'll be in touch. Thanks.